Hi, right, kitty. Move over, baby girl. Move over, baby girl. Hi, guys. I've got my big fuzzy warm thing on today. I'm making this video just because I've gotten so many comments and uh, subscribers and I haven't replied to any of you and I want you to know I'm not just ignoring you. Um, I had to put my little dog Capone down on January 4th and I have just been in so much pain from this I can't even tell you. <laughs> And I just want you to know, I haven't been just ignoring you. I just don't have anything inside of me to deal with anything. Um, he required 24-hour care before I put him down. His dementia got so bad that he just spun in circles and he would fall. And he had trouble walking. And, uh, and I think he had a little stroke, too, because part of his left side kind of fell down. and. I was doing everything I could, I could to keep him going. I set up a spare bedroom just for him so that he wouldn't hurt himself during the night because he would get up one, two, three times a night and I'd get up to be with him and to go lay him down. But it got to the point that I, I couldn't watch him suffer anymore. And it was so hard to let him go because I I had him over 14 years, and he had been through everything with me. I mean, a lot of hard times that I went that I went through. <clears throat> he was there, and it's been really really hard for me. Tomorrow will be two weeks, and it still feels like I did it today. <laughs> and, <laughs> Those of you that are true animal lovers, you understand what I'm going through. He wasn't just a dog. He wasn't just my pet. He was my buddy. He was my companion. <laughs> he made me laugh. <laughs> he was a silly little dog. <clears throat> He would always sing with me. He would actually sing with me, and I miss seeing him. I miss hearing his little bark. I expect him to still walk around the corner, you know, come from the kitchen or the bedroom or something, and he's not there. I've even rearranged some things in the house so that it's not just as it was where he was all the time because that got really hard to look at every day. And so, that helped a little bit that much. But, um, those of you that truly love your pets, you know what it is when you lose one. And I mean, he was everything to me. He was, he was my protector, he was my buddy, he was my companion, he was my, my crying dog. <laughs> Whenever things got rough or tough and I had to cry, I would just hold him and he would just let me while I cried on him. It's like he knew I needed him at that moment, you know. And, uh, and the house feels empty. My little dog, Kitty, she's so down. She just lays on the couch all day and that breaks my heart too. Because they were buddies. They were together all the time. and. It breaks my heart. She just lays on the couch and no matter what I do, no matter what I try, she's down. She's really down and she'll go outside to do her business, come back in, lay on the couch. It used to be that if I got up to go out and I'd say, let's go outside, she was there. She won't now unless she needs to do her business. Then she'll go, come right back in. So she's really down too. So I'm trying to keep her spirits up when I can't even keep my own up. I just, I miss him so much, guys. I can't even tell you. I miss him with all my heart and I keep seeing him and I'm trying to break habits like 
That's what I would call them to eat or to come and get a treat. It was always, Katie and Capone, come and eat. Katie and Capone, you want a treat? And I did it again this morning without thinking. Katie and Capone, come and eat breakfast, you know? And after I do it, I'm like, come on, girl, get a grip, you know? He's not in here. And for those of you that live alone like I do, and you have pets, you know how very attached you get to them, how much they mean to you, how much they they are there for you, 24-7 unconditional love, and, and now the house feels different, everything feels off, you know, things don't feel right. extra clingy to me and I've been extra clingy to her. She doesn't want to leave my side. She's always coming up to me on the couch and if I go into the bathroom, there she is. If I go whatever where I go in the house, <coughs> she's there. And uh, it's just changed everything. Everything just feels so different, guys. <laughs> He was a very special little dog. He, he just brought me so much joy. Come on, baby. He just brought me so much joy and laughter. He was a silly little dog. And not seeing him walk by, not seeing him come to eat, not seeing him nor hearing him drinking the water, you know, all those little things that you get used to when they're around. <laughs> I miss it so, so much. I have a little jacket that he wore every day because he was always cold. You know, at the end, last several weeks, he was always cold. So I have that little jacket and it may sound crazy, but I'll smell it because he still it still smells like him. <laughs> And it gives me comfort at night because at night, you know, the ritual was for my dogs to go into the room and go to bed with me, you know. But at the last several weeks of his life, I had to put him in his own room because he would get up all night and, and I started, it was affecting my health because I couldn't sleep anymore. I was always worried I would actually wake up in the middle of the night just to see if he was breathing, to see if he was still okay. <laughs> and I just couldn't watch him suffer anymore. His dementia got so bad and he was suffering from Cushing's disease. He couldn't control going to the bathroom anymore. and. And to see him constantly spin, he was never awake without spinning constantly. And his mind was, you know, pretty much gone. I had to show him to eat, you know, show him the bowl, put, put his little nose in the food so he would eat. I mean, he was, you know, he was an old dog. He lived a good long life. I spoiled him rotten. I spoiled my dogs rotten. My little girl here, she's... I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have her right now. And it's just been a hard road, guys. <laughs> I just wanted to make this real quick because I've got a lot of comments that I that I saw in my email and a lot of subscribers and I just haven't gotten back to any of you because I just I just can't. Um it's been a very hard time. On Christmas Eve, I caught the flu, so I was very sick. My son Nathan, he lives here in town, but he came to stay with me for a couple of days on Christmas Eve during the day, and then that night I got very sick while well, he stayed to take care of me, which I'm so grateful for. And um, then he caught it too. 
but he stayed with me uh, what a couple of weeks. Um, he stayed with me and he's the one who drove with me to put Capone down, which was very helpful to have him there and, and then he stayed that night with me. Um, I don't know what I would have done if he hadn't been here because it was really, really hard and painful. The whole situation I had to cancel our Christmas dinner and I was so sick this flu was horrible. I'm still recovering from it. I'm, you know, you're kind of weak after a flu and after the flu started to ease off I caught a cold. Don't know how but I did. So it went from a flu to a cold. And then a horrible, horrible cough that never stopped. It was awful. Terrible flu. But while I was sick I had to take him to get him taken care of because he was just suffering too much. <laughs> and so now I'm just <laughs> trying to get through all of this. <laughs> and I just miss him so, so much, guys. I just, boy, I mean, it feels like he took a piece of my heart with him. And knowing that I had to plan to do that was really hard. It was so hard. I've never had to do that before. If it did happen before, it was because of something that happened. And to plan it, I, I cuddled with him the night before. I took him to bed with me and I didn't care if he was going to get up all night. I just held him all night and for some reason he didn't, which was shocking to me because he was doing that every night. But the night before I had him put down, I held him in bed with me all night and snuggled up with him. And he, he didn't do anything, he just slept all night with me, which was a surprise. But <laughs> I'm just, I'm just struggling guys. And for those of you that think, oh, it's just a dog, well, you're not a dog, you're not a pet lover then. Those of you that are true pet lovers, you understand that losing your pet, especially after so many years, is like losing a family member. And so guys, I don't know when I'm going to get back to making videos, but I decided to do this today because I happen to... Um, I, I watch Ellen DeGeneres and I was wondering why she wasn't on today so I you know googled her Twitter and she said that she had they had to put their cat down today and when I saw the comments below of people understanding I thought yeah there are a lot of people who understand how painful it is and then when I saw all of the comments I haven't been checking my email much and I saw all the comments and subscribers and everything and I thought I have not responded to anything for quite some time because Capone required 24-hour care. It was literally 24-hour care guys. If he was sleeping and got up I had to rush him outside because he would go. He didn't know anymore. Um, so it was a constant up and down with him during the day, during the night and uh, and then if he was up and spinning, I would have to go stop him and lay him down. If I didn't, he would end up hitting a, you know, a piece of furniture or the wall. He would just spin till he hit something and then he'd fall. So, uh, it was a 24-hour job, but I, you know, I kept him as long as I could with that. I just, I couldn't anymore. It was killing me to watch him be like that. So anyway, guys. For some reason, today is a really hard day. It comes in waves, like I'll be fine. And then all of a sudden, I, I just think of him. And I picture him where he was, where he slept, where he would go, you know. And and then it just hits me like a, a, a wave, you know, where I can't stop thinking about him and I can't stop crying. And, and then I'm trying to comfort my little kitty here because I know she's suffering too. She keeps going into his room. I cleaned it all out so as much as I could, you know. I mean, his scent will still be in there for a while. 
and she'll go in there or she'll sleep she'll lay down in front of the door of his room because she knows and she had gotten in the habit of waking me up every morning when she would hear him wake up and so she's still doing that like she it was on the average he'd wake up about 6 6 30 after he had had his restless night and she would wake up and she'd come and paw at me in bed you know come and come get capone so that was a routine we had. Well, she still does that. She'll still wake up. Like this morning, she woke up at 6. And, and I thought, okay. So I got up, and we walked down the hall. And she stops at his bedroom to look in, you know. And I'm like, no, honey, he's gone. He's not there to wake up anymore. He's not there. So that's a little ritual that she's going to have to get over to, you know. Um, but anyway, it's just a whole change of our life, my life, hers too. And I am uh, just very, I'm very grateful I have her. She's been a great comfort to me. She's just by my side constantly. It's like she knows, like at night she'll come and snuggle up. She'll jump on the bed and come right up to my shoulder and just, you know, kind of burrow her head into me. And I'll be crying, and she know, it's like she knows, you know, I'm hurting too. So it's been a tough road, guys, and uh, I just wanted to make this, just to let you know I'm not ignoring you. I don't know when I'll get back to making videos, but at this point, I just, I'm just trying to get through each day. I'm just trying to, to break the habits, to, 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 to face each day without my little guy. <laughs> Because I love him so much. I just... <laughs> I loved him so, so much. And it's breaking my heart that he's gone. And it's breaking my heart that I had to do that. It's just... So much. But anyway, guys. I will talk to you sometime in the future here, and I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. My heart is just breaking right now. The night times seem to be the hardest, and it's getting towards night, and it seems to be the very hardest for me. So, we will talk to you later, guys. Have a good one. Good night. <laughs>